Well, what we have here is a demonstration of a real reel that I've had. I had for several years. It's uh, the Tascam BR20T, and I'm going to be playing music on it from my Mac laptop and then switching between A and B so you could hear uh, the recording to see how it, you know that it works. Uh, it comes with a remote control, the stock original from Tascam, and I've tossed in some reels, about three, four, five, ten-inch reels. I don't have any more ten-inch decks, so there, none of them are new. I do have uh, some seven-inch new stock, new old stock, a four fifty-six, I think. Uh, just you know, let me know if you want any of that. And um, well, I think I'll just start recording it here. Make it talk. Uh, I could talk some more about it. This is the uh, we start recording. This is the input. And that's the recording. That is the input. This is from my MacBook. And now you watch my hand and I'll switch to uh, the tape. Excellent recording. My original reason for buying this, of course, is mastering recording music. Which, uh, this deck is uh, was built back in the 90s. The deck uh, was probably the last original reel-to-reel, uh, half-track reel-to-reel made. It, uh, between 1992 and 2004. All right, here's the back to the source. You can listen, you hear a little, a little delay as it switches, uh, so you know that I'm really switching it. The sound is fantastic. Uh, yeah, I love it, but need to sell it uh, for other things. Here is the pictures for the head. It was hard. I tell you, it was very hard for me to uh, try and zoom in on there. I don't know. It might not look as good as, as it does when you look at it, but uh, the erase head uh, is there. The playback. And then the recording head. The recording head is kind of on an angle recording, so the, the left and right tracks, the empty uh, track is in the middle. You see that kind of area there? So it's half track, same normal half track, but this particular model has a, a uh, empty track in the middle in case you want to sync it to something. I've never used it. But the actual recording tracks are, are exactly the same as the, uh, the BR-20. This is the BR-20T. Uh, I also have a new capstan belt that, that you know I bought, never had to put it on, so I got that. Got the wired remote control, several, several uh, reels of tape. It does have a... I'll, I'll play this out, you know, once we record here, I'll go back and show like the return to zero. How smooth it reward. I'll just do it now. All right. Can't you see? Very smooth on its uh, reels. The um, I have three take up reels that um, you can have with it, but they're all warped, they're all bent, as you can see on this. But the, you can see the hub is turning nice. The um, it goes right to zero. Oh, it's nice. And that's the previous recording. Here, this is the actual recording, so. 
I'd, I'd say it's in really great shape. I mean, the uh, close up on the heads, you know, there's a little wear. I don't know if it is, it's even affecting anything because you can hear from the recording, it's good. The music I'm playing is Amy Williams, a friend of mine, has several CDs out. Don't want to get hit with uh, YouTube's copyright stuff. Uh, the sales and all the information will be below to find out where you can buy it from. I'm in the Chicagoland area. I prefer someone picked it up rather than uh, Think this road has been down. ever there someone picked it up rather than shipped it, but I can. Uh, but that that'll, that'll be separate because I have to build a case container for it. I also have a DBX uh, type uh, the 150 type one. It's RCA. Oh, there, there's where I. Uh, Started the other recording. Which this is starting. Which this keep recording. That's the recording. You're listening to. Uh, so it's uh, it's really nice. You, you know, uh, one of the things I would would do with this would to take CDs and run it through the tape, uh, and tape them to get an all get that uh, uh, two uh, uh, that tape sound on the CD. It softens it up a little bit, uh, but the quality is is great. So I don't know what else to to say on this. So. Cycle back and listen to Annie, I guess. I'll have email below and all this stuff so you can ask me questions. I figure it's better to show you it actually working than, uh, than not. The actual RCA outputs in the back. Uh, there's some kind of if you wiggle them to make noise, so I bought new ones, you know, and I'll put that on before you pick it up anyway, so it don't matter. But the uh, the XLs uh, work fine. Oh, well, it's a piece of tape stuck there. There's a speaker in the middle that's supposed to be a speaker that plays, but I never did it, so I think you can audition. I heard something about that. I also, I'll put links in the bottom to a museum, a real to real museum, who's got a lot of nice info about the deck. Uh, so. I like it. I really do. I just don't use it. And so, uh, I rather convert it into something else. So there you go. 